So starting lineup for the Lewis University Flyers, Stan Strong, the 5'10 guard, the senior from Evergreen Park in the backcourt, along with Demetrius Sunner, 6'3", 190, the junior from Silvis, Illinois. Monte McGee, the newcomer, the Chuco transfer, 6'6", 185, the junior from Chicago. Gets a start in the front court along with Sidney Holmes, 6'6", 230, the junior. Chuco transfer from Riverdale, Illinois. In the middle, Austin Real, 6'8", junior from West Aurora High School, the starting five for the Lewis University Flyers. For the Paul Blue Demons, LeVar Seals in the backcourt, 6'4", sophomore, along with Joe Tully, the 6'2", senior. The front court, Drake Diener, 6'5", sophomore, Sam Hoskin, 6'9", senior, and Kimont Greer, 6'7", sophomore. And the tip controlled by Lewis University in the red, going left to right in front of us, DePaul in the white. They'll go right to left. Right away, Stan Strong at the top. The drive left side of the lane, off the backboard, too hard. Battle for the rebound, and the Demons come out of there with it. And they'll come into the front court, and Diener, he'll go right away to the right wing for a long three. Tully off the back of the iron, no good. Rebound battled around four, and Lewis comes out of there with it. And the front court in a hurry. They go right side, slashing in the paint. Altered shot, rejected. Rebound underneath, knocked away, and the ball going to belong to the Flyers. McGee, the initial shot. Holmes tried to get the rebound, could not get it to go. Now into the right corner. Inbounds will come from Stan Strong. Gets it in up top to Austin Reel. Hands it back to Strong. They'll start against the man-to-man -man defensively. D. Hunter back up to the point. Holmes swings on left side. McGee lob underneath. Intended for Reel. Stolen away, and the Demons come back in a hurry. Drive middle on the break, and there's going to be a palming violation. Turnover by Kimont Greer. And it's Flyer basketball. Still no score, just getting going. 19-14 to go first half. So strong with it. Into the front court. Goes right side on the wing to D. Hunter. Hunter, castled by Tully, gets it away. High left side, McGee. And out of the point, Holmes lob underneath. Real open, off the backboard and in. Austin Real gets the Flyers on top, 2-0. Diener brings it into the front court. Strong on him defensively. Flyers. In the man-to-man -man as well. Left side on the wing. Nothing there. They go back up to the point and Hoskin. Swing it around Tully. Wide right side of the wing. Baseline low right side. Shot up and in. Good. Underneath move by Kimon Greer. Get it underneath Austin Rio and get the basket. Now the Flyers back in a hurry. And the ball knocked away out of bounds. It'll be Lewis basketball. Baseline left of the basket. And Hunter to bring it in. Balls out the play, looks and goes into the left corner for Strong. Back up top, Real. Right wing, back to Hunter. He'll drive baseline. Bounce pass off the backboard and in. Good assist in the basket for Monte McGee. And it's a 4-2 Lewis lead. Diener into the front court for DePaul. Back up top. That's LeVar Seals with it. Seals goes wide right side. Now they go down low right. Kick it back up. Seals for three, high left. It's off the back of the rim too hard. And Lewis the rebound, and Holmes. So Flyers back in a hurry and strong. Back up Hunter. Holmes now right side on the wing, McGee. McGee drives right side, stops baseline, feeds in the middle, Austin Real off the backboard, too hard, no. Wanted a foul call, didn't get it. And the ball coming back in a hurry the other way. Drake Diener, high right side. Comes to the point, stops, right side on the wing. Pass, drive middle, spin, Hoskin. Shot too hard off the back of the rim. Rebound battled for. It'll go back up no by Greer. And Austin Real clears it away for the Flyers. Lewis up 4-2. to two. They've got the ball. Drive all the way to the hoop. Altered shot off the backboard and in. Blocking foul. Let's see if they give him the shot. Demetrius Hunter. Chance for three-point play. Indeed, they give him the hoop. Continuation there. And a nice play by Demetrius Hunter to penetrate and make something happen. 6-2 Lewis, a chance to make it 7-2. D. Hunter at the foul line. D from last year, 62% free throw shooter. And that one off the back of the rim, no. And Hoskin the rebound for the Demons. Now to Diener. So 6-2 Lewis. And Diener into the front court. Right side, stops wide right. Gets it back up to Tully at the point. Tully driving the free throw line, now stops, spins, kicks it back up top. Right side, 
18-foot baseline shot way short for LeVar Seals and Lewis the rebound. Stand strong. Top of the key, McGee. Swing it around left side, Hunter. Out of the point and strong. Strong. Stops free throw line, kicks it out, McGee. He'll go baseline. Slides under the basket, put it up and good. He's fouled, it counts. Once again, a chance for a three-point play for Lewis University. Foul going to be called on Drake Diener, I believe. And DePaul wants a timeout. 16.38 to go, first half. Lewis on top, 8-2. to two. We're back after this on 1340 WJOL. As we come back to the free throw line. Monte McGee, 6'6", junior. His first game as a flyer, toes the stripe. Chance to convert in the three-point play. And off the back of the rim, no. So it stays 8-2, Lewis. DePaul has the basketball. In a hurry, seals left wing. On the dribble, D. Hunter on him. Lob down low, left side. And a steal. Great weak side help by Holmes. He comes in and steals it away. Now it's D. Hunter. Top of the key. Now high left side, still in the dribble. Penetrates, dishes. Knocked away, stolen away. Demons will come back in a hurry. On the break, seals to Holland. And he is fouled on the rejection by Austin Reel. Left side of the lane. Reel got the ball and the arm. And two shots coming on the first foul by Austin Reel. Holland to the free throw stripe. Delante Holland, 6'7", 210, junior from Greenbelt, Maryland. Takes his time. And the first one is no good off the back of the rim. Stays 8-2 Lewis. In for the first time for Lewis University now is Harley Piercy, 6'6", senior from Ottawa, Illinois. And Marlon Brumfield, 6'7", freshman from Chicago, checks in for DePaul. Holland again, taking his time. And finally lets that one go, and he missed that as well, so he missed them both, and Lewis and Demetrius Hunter, they track down the rebound. D. Hunter, right side to Piercy on the wing, to the point, Holmes, right side, D. Hunter, lower right, Austin Real leans in from five, no, he's hammered, no call, his own rebound, no, now he is, finally, called, they go to the line to shoot two after that foul whistle. So Austin Real to the free throw line. Played in that state championship West Aurora team a few years ago. Sweet 16 for Lewis last year. Comes in a year ago at 68% from the foul line. First one is good. 9-2 Lewis with 15-59 to go first half. A couple more substitutions. Holmes comes out and in in his place is Sarunas Scottis. 6'9 junior from Lamont. Also checking in is DeAndre Williams, six-foot sophomore guard from Chicago. Reel's next one is around and in. We met them both, and it's 10 to 2 Lewis. And an official's timeout. So Lewis University, after a great start, the first four minutes they've allowed just two points. They have the eight-point lead at 10 to 2. Back after this on 1340 WJOL. So following the timeout, DePaul has the basketball down 10 to 2. Into the front court. Drake Diener. And right away his wing pass. Anticipated. Nice set by Austin Reel, who knocks it out of bounds. And the Demons will bring it in bounds. Side court to the right. Deontay Holland will do the honors. And gets it up top to Diener. They're on a high screen. Drives left side. Stops baseline. Kicks it back middle. The free throw line. Nothing there for Brumfield, so way back up top to Diener all the way in the center circle. Now high to the right side, LeVar Seals. Back up Hoskin, now high left side, Diener. Patient offense, get a good shot underneath, and it drops in for LeVar Seals. Waited patiently, got the good shot. 10-4, Lewis the lead in the ball. D. Hunter around a high pick, and Diener going to be called for the reach-in foul about 25 feet away from the basket. And the new coach, Dave Leto, not too happy with that, I believe. 
That means they'll be coming out. Matter of fact, a couple of demons will be coming out as they bring in a couple of different players. Chris Exilis, 6'2 junior guard from Toronto, comes in. Also, Kimon Greer comes back in as well. Also into the game is Marlon London, 6'5 senior guard from Broadview, Illinois. Lewis has it in the front court. Piercy dishes in the paint. Scottis off the glass and in. Sarunas so Scottis. Thought he had a foul as well. It didn't get called as it is. Nice job to use the offhand on the low left side that time for Scottis. And it's now 12 to 4 Lewis. Up top is London. Goes down low to the right side. He was trapped. Now they kick it away. Hoskin in the left corner. Drop free throw line. Exodus. Free throw line. Hoskin. Oh, he traveled. He got away with it. Now it's Greer. He'll take a three. Left side. Way long. Air ball. And the rebound. Lewis University. Scottis tips it to Hunter. Here they come in the break. DeAndre Williams. Left corner. Piercy. Skip pass to Scottis. who a bit too high. Turns it over. Pull over his head and out of bounds. And DePaul gets it back. 14.30 to go in the half. 12 to 4. Lewis. They've got some substitutions. Brendan Callahan comes in for the first time. The big guy, 6'7", senior from Seneca. Also into the game, Monte McGee, once again, for the Flyers. So DePaul up top. Get the ball to Holland, left baseline. Shot rejected, battled around four. Back up, no, and the rebound fought for, and finally Lewis gets the board after the rebound miss by London. Flyers back in a hurry. DeAndre Williams, right side, McGee. And once again, that skip pass, a little too much on it. And two straight turnovers for the Flyers, and Jim Weitzel not happy with that. So there was a better pass than all the way across the court. Exilus, high left side, goes to the point, kicks it low right. Not much there, so they force an outside jump shot, no. But they're going to draw a body foul on McGee to bail out Holland after a bad off-balance shot. McGee bodied up, and they're going to call him for the foul, and two shots coming. Volante Holland. So Holland. No points yet. Trying for his first. And missed that one. He's missed three free throws tonight. 13.52 to go in the half. It's 12 to 4 Lewis. So DePaul. Played almost seven minutes. They've got four points. Again, after a long time, this one finally drops for Holland. So he's one out of four. He makes it a 12 to five ball game in the Flyers. In the backcourt. DeAndre Williams comes front. Stops free throw line. Jump shot off the back of the rim and in. Hit the rim, the backboard, and dropped in for DeAndre Williams. And it's now 14 to 5, Lewis. Now back to Paul the other way to London. Top of the key, they go high to the right side. A long three rolls off the rim, and McGee skies a great rebound off the miss by London. Fast break, Scott is so oh, it's just off his fingertips. They tried to get down the court in a hurry, and he just couldn't handle the pass out of bounds. Back to DePaul. Tell you what, Lewis already up by nine, but without those three turnovers, it could be more. And DePaul will slug it surely. Marlon London. Of course, they're having to play without their best player. Andre Brown. London with it. Stops, takes the three high left. Off the back of the rim, no. Rebound. DePaul keeps it alive off the Brooks rebound. Marlon Brooks back up to London. Brooks 6-1, senior from Peoria. Now it's Holland at the top of the key. Feet in the middle. And a 10-footer, no. Rebound, tip, no by Holland. And now back in a hurry, the Flyers the other way. For three, Harley Pierce, he had it rejected from behind. And DePaul comes out of there with it. The only reason that was rejected was Holland was so slow getting back the other way. The three at the top of the key rejected from behind because he took so long to get back on defense. He was there to block the shot at the top of the key. Holland left corner. Run a high pick by Brumfield. Good aggressive defense by Lewis. Almost a travel there. 
Brooks gets away with it, drives basket and puts it in. Marlon Brooks off the backboard. It's a 14 to 7 Lewis lead. They come front, Brennan Callahan. Right side, McGee. McGee, nowhere to go, so he'll just take a few dribbles, go back up to Piercy in the center circle. Calls out a player, they go double low post. As a matter of fact, Lewis is going to call timeout. They want a 20 because they want some substitutions. They want to bring Stan Strong back in the ballgame. They're also going to bring Holmes back in as well. So for the timeout, we'll take a break. 11.58 to go in the half, 14 to 7. Lewis leads to Paul. After the 20-second timeout, Lewis has the basketball and stands strong. Strong goes left side on the wing to McGee. Top of the key, real. Right side, Piercy. Lob underneath, tried to get the ball down low to Holmes, and it's knocked away and stolen away by DePaul. Good job defensively by Kamon Career. In the front court, Marlon London. London goes left wing. And a high pick to the top of the key. Keeps his dribble, now goes right side to Brooks. Kicks it low left. Tully line on the three-point stripe, and he hits it. A two for Joe Tully. Should have credited that to Diener. So Diener with the shot and the two. So 14 to nine, Lewis the lead in the ball. And it's Piercy, low right side, strong. Back up, Piercy. Now strong, wide right wing. Top of the key, and they're gonna call a head thick travel on Austin Real, no basket. And now an official's timeout, so once again we'll take a break. 11.06 to go here in the first half. It's still Lewis on top. It's now a 14-9 advantage back after this on 13.40 WJOL. Welcome back to Alumni Hall, DePaul University. Demons with the basketball. They're down 14-9. Now 11 minutes to go in the half. Marlon London into the front court. D. Hunter on him. On the dribble, high left side. Comes middle where he's double teamed. He's in trouble and finally gets the ball away to Brooks who swings it to Diener for three high right off the back of the rim. No. And the rebound Holmes for the Flyers. Finds D. Hunter. Are they come in a hurry? Strong. Back to Hunter. Free throw line. Now backs it away. They'll start over. Nothing there in the fast break. So now they'll set up on the half court offense. Stand strong wide to the left side. He's open for the three. He'll take it. And oh off the back of the rim. But the rebound Lewis. They'll keep it alive. Austin Real free throw line extended right. Our left side strong. Again, open for three. This time back on the rim. No. Long rebound into Paul. Tracks it down. Boy, stand strong. Can't remember the last time he missed two threes in a row. And now it's Diener. Back up to Brooks. High left side. Diener with it. Not much there, so it's Brooks high right. He'll penetrate. Dish low left. Ball knocked away. Out of bounds. Which way? And it's going to be DePaul basketball. They'll have it baseline left of the basket. Ten minutes to go in the half, 14 to 9. Lewis the lead. London for DePaul to bring it in. And a whistle before that even happens, and they're going to call a hold on the Flyers before the inbounds. They're going to call the foul on Stan Strong, I believe. Yep, so first foul on Strong, third team foul. Now the Ball Demons will inbound the ball. And way up top to Diener to set up the offense. Against the man. My left side for London. With point and Hoskin. Wide right side, Diener. Baseline low right. London tried to dish. Breaking to the basket that time was Greer, but it was stolen away by the Flyers. Well, left side, Holmes. Holmes drives baseline, dishes. And before any shot, they're going to call an offensive foul on Sidney Holmes. Not too sure about that one, but it's the Paul Ball. As Lewis goes back on defense. Delante Holland back in for the Paul. And coming in for Lewis now. For the first time today. Brian Price, 6'2 junior guard from Springfield. Is strong will come out. So Diener works against Hunter, who picks him up full court. Comes front court with it, drives left side, keeps his dribble on the left wing. Now gives it up to Brooks at the point. Brooks swings it back. Diener slides right side off the lane. No rebound, tipped around, out of bounds. It'll be Lewis basketball, last touch by Marlon Brooks of DePaul. 
9.15 to go until halftime. 14 to 9. Lewis the lead in the ball, and it's Demetrius Hunter in the backcourt. He'll come front, double O post offensively. Coming off the pick, left side is McGee. He'll drive. Now kick it back up top to Hunter. Hunter with it high left side. He'll drive left baseline, stop. Austin Real open for three, high left. Rattle around, no. Tip Holmes is good. Nice job by Sidney Holmes to get up and drop that one in. 16 to 9, a seven point Lewis lead. Diener. Right side, Brooks. Gets it back up, Greer. Drives left side of the lane. This pass underneath the Hoskin. Rejected by the foul call. And two shots coming. Let's see if it's on Real. Yep, that is the case. And it'll be the second foul on Austin Real. 15 fouls soon as Scottis, I believe, will come in at the next opportunity. To give Real a rest. 8.33 to go in the half. 16 to 9, Lewis for now. Hoskin at the line. That one is good. Rattled that one home. Not quite a sellout here tonight, but a big crowd, and I'd say at least a third of those fans are Lewis University fans from Romeoville. Hoskin. This one on the way. Off the back of the rim. No, and the rebound comes down to Lewis. Big board for Holmes, and now it's D. Hunter. He comes front court. Brooks all over him, and they're finally going to call him for the body foul on the push. Coach Leto at DePaul wanted to carry on that, but instead, it's the body foul on DePaul. Baseline left of the basket. D. Hunter to bring it in. Right away, left side on the wing. Fade away, jump shot. Price no good, and DePaul comes back the other way in a hurry. That's Brooks. He'll come middle. And now nothing there. Nice job by Holmes to cut that one off. So back it away. Pass around low left side. Spin movement lane. Hoskin the four footer no, but a foul, and he'll shoot two. Saruna Scott is whistled for the personal. And again, DePaul to the free throw line. But again, nice job defensively by Lewis. There's 8-12 to go in the half, and they've allowed 10 points so far. Foul shot. Rings out. No good. Stays a six-point Lewis lead for now. Harley Piercy comes back in. And Brian Price back out again. And the next one. After a few dribbles. On the way. And ringed out. He missed them both. And Lewis the rebound. Holmes. To Demetrius Hunter. High right side. Behind the back dribble. Now gives it right wing. Harley Piercy. Piercy looks for, for somewhere to go. And he goes back up top. Now to McGee at the point. He'll drive left side. Stop. Dish it back up. Hunter. Shot clock to 15. Hunter takes his time and finds Scottis at the point. Now it's Piercy right wing. Bounce pass McGee. Low right backs in. Spins. Six footer no. And a foul. Let's see if he has the two shots coming or not. Yep, indeed. Thought the foul might have been before he got those arms up. But indeed, two shots coming for Monte McGee. So McGee. First one is good. Joe Tully, after quite a long rest, as a matter of fact, comes out. Monte McGee from Robeson High School out of Kishwaukee College. Off the rim, no, and the rebound, DePaul. So he gets one out of two. McGee, by the way, set that career rebound record for Kish in his two years there. DePaul the other way, it's Diener. The left side. Drives baseline. Shop it up, blocked by Scottis, and wow. That was all ball, and they're going to bail him out on a bad shot underneath the basket with two shots. And Holland will be at the foul line. 7.22 to go in the half, 17-10, Lewis leads. 
So the Division II team right now leading the Division I team out of Conference USA. Of course, Lewis coming off their 25 wins from last year's school record and a trip to the Sweet 16 in D2. Well, shot is good by Holland. 17-11 the Lewis lead. And the next one. Rings out in the rebound, Lewis University and Holmes. By the way, of Barrett College, the Juco transfer Holmes. Piercy takes the three right wing oh, off the back of the rim, no on the rebound to Paul. He'll come back in a hurry to Tully, and he carried it. Got a high bounce he wasn't expecting off of that dribble and turned it over. And Lewis. We'll come back to the way, but first, an official's timeout. 7.07 to go on the half at 17 to 11. Lewis has the lead. Back after this on 1340 WJOL. Off the official's timeout, Flyer basketball. Demetrius Center in the backcourt. Six point lead in the ball for Lewis. D. Hunter has Tully on him. Passes to McGee. Now, top of the key, home. Swing it around Piercy, high right side. Now free throw line McGee. He'll take it left side and stop. And back up Piercy. Scottis. Good ball movement. And good movement away from the ball for Lewis to keep this offense going. And now a foul underneath on DePaul. Nice job to be patient. By the Flyers. Foul will be called on Delante Holland. His first personal. But bonus time. So at the line for the one and one is Sidney Holmes. As we mentioned, went to Brother Rice High School and comes to Lewis by way of Barrett, where he averaged 14 point poor 14 point 14.4 14 points and 10.4 rebounds per game last year. Barrett, the school record 33 and 6 a year ago. And that's one of the main reasons why. Is that one off the rim? No, and the tip comes down to DePaul. So Demons with it, and Marlon London. Into the front court, he goes wide to the right side, and Tully. Looking for somewhere to go, can't find anybody open, and finally passes it low into the right corner. And good job to tie it up and knock it away. Marlon London jumped up in traffic and nowhere to go, and it's stolen away. Now coming back the other way, oh, the long pass. Tipped off of Scottis' hands and out of bounds. Thought it actually might have touched Delonte Holland last, but as it is, it will be DePaul basketball. London comes out and Exilus back in for the Demons. 17 to 11. Lewis leads, 6.19 to go until halftime. Exilus into the front court. Where is number 13 on that jersey? Way up near the half-court line. And finally, what are they going to call a five-second count? Exilus never did get away from Stan Strong, and he never made any penetration towards the basket. Nice job by Stan Strong to get the five count and the turnover. And Lewis will inbounds the ball near half-court. Austin Real to do the honors. So Stan Strong. Yes, Callahan, Real, McGee. And now Tony Scala in for the first time for the Flyers. Scala has it right wing. Callahan, left side, McGee. McGee bounced past Scala at the point. Bounced past Callahan, low right side. Backs his way in, a little five-footer. Good, Brennan Callahan. Good, strong move to the basket against Holland defensively. And it's 19-11, to 11, Lewis. 5.40 to go in the half. Seals. Bounce past Tallow, nothing there. Nice job by Austin Real. And a double dribble call against Delonte Holland. Real bothered Holland. Tried to back away, and he double dribbled. Another Blue Demon turnover. And flyer ball on the backcourt. Stand strong. Five and a half minutes to go until half point. Half time, Lewis, eight point lead in the ball. Scala up top, Callahan. Left side, McGee. Bounce pass to the point, and Scala, he'll drive right side of the lane and whistle away from the basketball. I think it's going to be offensively. And Brennan Callahan, he can't believe it. Yeah, he is not even sure what he did. 
Oh, they're going to call double personals. So I guess a little pushing and shoving from both sides, Holland and Callahan. So it's a double foul. And it'll be Lewis basketball, baseline right of the hoop. Strong to bring it in bounds. Bounce pass into real, low right side, and what are they going to call here? A whistle? Oh, shot clock trouble. That's what that was about. Apparently after the double foul, the shot clock was off. So they're going to try to get that right, and Lewis will get the ball again and start the offense over. So they got that straightened away. And we'll try again. There's 21 seconds in the shot clock. And Lewis will have it. Baseline right of the basket. Once again, the inbounds. Strong looking. Goes to Scholar right corner. Thought about the three. Takes a couple dribbles. Looks for someone to go. And finds Real at the point. Hands off to Strong. He'll take over up top. Sand Strong. Scala had that one knocked away and stolen away. The steal and almost the dunk by Seals. But Scala, nice job to catch it from behind. And the foul. He got some of the ball. But he also got the foul. Oh, Coach Lado looking for the hard foul, but he got the ball. You're not going to get intentional if you get the ball. One thing I don't like about Coach Lado already, he's been crying way too much to the officials. He better not be doing that all year long in his first year as a Demon coach. That's going to get old in a hurry. Seals the first free throw to go. Demetrius Center after short rest comes back in and Strong comes out. Seals first three, free throw makes it a 19 to 12 Lewis lead. 5.06 to go until halftime. This one up and in as well. So he makes them both. Lewis lead cut now. Down to six at 19 to 13. D Hunter high left. Again Lewis has led the entire way so far. Up top is Callahan. On the left side Hunter. Lob low left. Austin Real the dribble. Lost the handle. And what are they going to call? I believe a foul on Austin Real trying to get that one back after he lost it. And the offensive foul. His third personal. That's a tough one to pick up with 4.50 to go until halftime. With the bonus, we walk the other way for the 1-1 one and one for Drake Diener for DePaul. And the first one is good off the front of the rim, back of the rim, backboard and in. Wasn't pretty, but it worked. Now Holmes back in for Lewis. His reel will come out. Make sure he doesn't get that fourth foul before halftime, I would imagine. The next one is good. Now that cuts the Lewis lead down to four at 19 to 14. They're smallest lead in quite a while. D. Hunter goes to Scala. Scala, free throw line, kicks it back up top. That's McGee. McGee all the way center circle. Now high right side is D. Hunter. Spin move, goes free throw line, stops, lob underneath, blocked away, battled for the loose ball, and DePaul comes out of there with it. And now Scala knocks it away, but they're going to call him for the reach-in foul. Looks like he got all ball on that one too, but Lewis does not get the call. And 4.24 to go until halftime. And DePaul a chance to cut this to a two point deficit. As Tully again to shoot two. Tully wears number 12. And the first one is good. DeAndre Williams back in for Lewis. Scala comes out. Couple dribbles. And that one good as well. Now it's just a two-point deficit at 19-17 as Marlon Brooks back in for DePaul. Tully will come out. So Lewis needs a basket here. They have been stuck on 19 for quite a while. In their lead, cut to just two. D. Hunter. Left side, McGee. Back up, Callahan. 
Drives the right side of the lane. Good bounce pass underneath the homes. Knocked away, but Flyers will retain possession. Baseline left of the basket is D. Hunter. Left side, DeAndre Williams. Up top, McGee. High right side, Hunter. Leaner from 15, rejected. And DePaul comes out of there on the break. In a hurry, seals. Jam. Clavar seals with the dunk off the steal, and we're tied at 19 in Lewis. Once timeout, 3.59 to go until halftime. Back after this on 1340 WJOL. So following the timeout, Lewis basketball. 19 all tie, just under four minutes to go until halftime. D. Hunter into the front court, goes right side, McGee. Bounce pass low right to Holmes. Oh, he missed an easy two-footer. Could have used backboard and didn't. It slipped off the rim, and DePaul comes back with their first chance to take a lead all day. And a foul before any shot. Foul on the floor as Diener tried to penetrate. They're going to call the reach-in foul on DeAndre Williams. So his first. And two shots for Diener. First one is good. And the first to Paul lead of the game at 20 to 19, and it comes with 3.41 to go until halftime. And the next one is good as well. So 21 to 19, and now an official's timeout with 3.41 to go until halftime. To Paul by two back after this on 1340 WJOL. So Lewis basketball after the timeout, they find themselves down. The first time all day at 21 to 19. 341 until halftime. Inbounds goes to Demetrius Hunter. He'll work against Brooks and get it front court. Up to the point in Holmes. High right side. DeAndre Williams. Uh, left side now. McGee. He'll penetrate. Dish wide open. Two pointer from way outside. Williams won't go. McGee, nice job to battle for the rebound, but Brooks is there to take it away. Isaiah volleyball that one around back and forth. Now DePaul back in a hurry. Up top to Diener, and he'll call out the offense. So DePaul by two and the ball. Diener. High left side. Now they go high to the right. Lost momentarily by Seals, but he gets it back. The wing to Brooks. Brooks bounce pass low right side. Nowhere to go, so we'll take the fadeaway. 16 footer, no good in the rebound. Lewis University. Holmes picked it away. And now D. Hunter. He comes front. Right side, McGee. Holmes, left side, DeAndre Williams. He'll penetrate. Dish, right side to Hunter. Bounce pass, Callahan. On the left wing, back up top, DeAndre Williams. He'll slide middle. Dish, wide open. Holmes missed the layup. And the rebound to Paul. That's two easy ones. Holmes has missed here tonight. Got the shot they wanted. They worked for it. It just didn't drop it in. So the Paul two point leading the ball with now 2:15 to go until halftime. That's Diener on top. Holland drive middle of the lane. Shot put up. No, it should be offensive foul on Holland. And they're going to call a blocking foul instead. There's no doubt. Dan Williams was there waiting. And the official bails out the big. Sam Hoskins, 6'9", 250, the senior from Detroit, Michigan. That one from off the back of the rim, no good. Piercy and Strong will come in for Lewis. Williams and Hunter come out. Hoskins gets the second foul attempt with 2.06 to go until halftime. And this one is good. One out of two. Three points to Paul lead with 2.05 to go until the break. Stand strong. Right side, Piercy. The top, Callahan. The side, McGee. And now that one's stolen away. Brooks will go end to end and lay it in. Well, then Brooks the layup, and all of a sudden, Lewis, they were up 10. Now they're down five. 
stand strong. Adam McGee grabs baseline. And it had it knocked away and stolen away. And now DePaul. Back in a hurry. Diener. Fade away. No. Oh, my goodness. A horrible call on the official there on a fadeaway shot by Diener. A bad shot. And they call a hand touch foul on that one. That's just brutal. 131 to go until halftime. DePaul doesn't need that kind of help. That's brutal. Now it's Diener. Foul shot is no good. Oh, that's helping to keep Lewis in this ball game. Missed foul shots by DePaul. Lewis offensively done a good job getting some open shots. Stan Strong's missed a couple of open threes underneath. They've had a couple of missed two footers by Holmes. They've been able to work and get the shot they want. It just hasn't fallen for them. And Diener gets that foul shot. They make one out of two. And London back in for DePaul. Diener comes out. So Lewis is down by six now with 128 to go until halftime. Stand strong. Well, they need a basket here desperately. They've been on 19 forever. And now a hand check foul on DePaul. So the foul on the Demons. Seals called for it. And the foul line stands strong. And finally, the Flyers a chance to get off of that 19. Holland in. Steals, seals out for DePaul. And the foul shot is good by Stan Strong to make it 25 20. DePaul by five. 122 until halftime. And the next one was good. So two points for DePaul or for the Flyers make it a four point DePaul lead. 118 to go until halftime, and it's Marlon London. London. Got a high pick. Comes up top. Down on the right side. Long three right corner. Way long by Holland and the rebound Flyers. Boy, they need a basket here badly with a minute to go. All the way left side of the lane. The dish off and a blocking foul called on DePaul. Driving left side of the lane. The dish off at the last second by D. Hunter. And he'll go to the line to shoot two. So D. Hunter at the stripe. D. Hunter with two points so far. And stays that way as he misses the first one. Tully back in for DePaul. Holland out. Tully in. Now well, let's see if D. Hunter can make this one and make it a three-point game. And he does. So 25-22 DePaul the lead in the ball with 58 seconds to go until halftime. Clear out against some pressure. And London with it. Backboard against D. Hunter. He comes front. High left side. London now goes left wing. Still on the dribble. What a high pick. And it bounce off his foot. Lewis steals it away. 42 seconds to go. Scott is in the break. Blocked from behind. And now DePaul coming back in a hurry. And it's stolen away by Lewis. And now the outlet pass stolen back by DePaul again. Well, that was a ragged minute of play. After all that, DePaul still has the three-point lead in the ball with 23 seconds to go until halftime. And, well, they can take almost every second. I think there's only one second difference, shot clock and game clock. So Brooks with it in the center circle. Brooks drives all the way off the glass. No, tip good by Hoskin. And that'll do it for the half. Then a one half a play to Paul University leading Lewis 27 to 22. Come back for half number two after this on 1340 WJOL. So a second half about to begin. Lewis University down 27 22. In the first half, Lewis shot just 36% from the floor and turned the ball over 15 times. 
It's keeping them in the ball game. As it DePaul in the first half, shot just 29%. They were outboarded by a three and turned the ball over eight times themselves. To the second half. Can be a little more consistent offensively for Lewis University. So Flyers come out. They're going to start the second half a little differently than the first. Stand strong, Demetrius Hunter. Brendan Callahan going to start in place of Austin Real, who's got some foul trouble. And then Holmes and McGee as well. The starting five for Lewis. In the red uniforms, the white numerals and trim. Demons have their home whites, the blue numerals and trim. They'll come out with Diener. Also, they're going to come out with Sam Hoskin. He'll bring the ball inbounds. Joe Tully will be in there to start the second half, along with LeVar Seals. And also, Kimont Greer. So here we go. DePaul left to right in front of us in the second half. Demons have the five-point lead on the ball. Here in half number two. Greer, high left side. On the standing dribble, LeVar Seals. Bounce pass low left. Intended for Sam Hoskin. Bad pass turnover. And Lewis basketball. So here we go. In the front court, right side is McGee. Looks, looks, goes back up to D. Hunter. Hunter, the top of the key. The lob underneath, tip. McGee picks it up and puts it in. Monte McGee. He's got now a team best seven points here for Lewis. So now just a three point to Paul lead and the basketball. And Tully has it to Diener. Kicks it out left corner. The long tray is good for number three, LeVar Seals. Just like that, back to a six point to Paul advantage. In the first half, their leading scorer was Diener with seven. And now a body foul against DePaul defensively. After the three by Seals, give him now a team best nine points as he had six at the break. Baseline right of the basket, the inbounds pass goes way up top to Stan Strong. He'll take the three. Short and the rebound. Battle for McGee off his fingertips out of bounds to DePaul. And Stan Strong going to pick them up full court defensively for Lewis. Diener looks to get the inbounds from Hoskin and does so. And he'll battle all the way against Strong into the front court. Almost lost the handle. Into the front court to Tully. Has it high right. Out of the point, and a Hoskin. High left side, Diener. He'll drive left side, and a running shot, no, and a foul on the floor before the shot. So the reach in. Stan Strong picks up the personal. Second personal. First team foul of the second half. Baseline left of the basket. Diener inbounds all the way up top to Hoskin. Hoskin right side. And now there's a foul pushing underneath between Callahan and Kimont Greer. And Brennan Callahan called for the foul. That'll be his third personal. And again, DePaul, the inbound under the basket, this time right side. Diener looking. And goes into the right corner. Tully, the quick three, rings out. Rebound tipped around. Callahan for the Flyers. Looks for the outlet man in strong. Into the front court. Stops at the point. Now backs away high right side. Goes right wing. That's McGee. Back to D. Hunter to get things started. Hunter left side. Strong up top now. Right wing McGee again. Good ball movement. Top of the key. He's swinging around now. Left corner strong. Drive free throw line. Kick it up. Callahan for three at the point. No. And the rebound comes down to DePaul. Now it's a little bit out of his range, but he was wide open, decided to take it, and he missed it. 30-24 to 24 is the DePaul lead with 17.55 to play in the game. Demons with the ball. Diener wide left side. Comes around a screen. Kicks it right corner. Nothing there, so they lob down low. Drive right baseline. Nothing there. Again, good defensive. Play by the Flyers, and they steal it away. D. Hunter intercepted that baseline pass. D. all the way into the front court. Callahan right side. McGee now. Lob underneath. Holmes had it knocked away from him by Tully. And the reach-in foul. They're going to give him two shots. They're going to say he was in the act of shooting as well. So two coming for the Flyers. 
so to the line. Will go Sydney Holmes. Had nine rebounds in the first half. That led everybody. Had two points in the first half. To go with those nine boards. And that one he missed. We'll get a second try. Came in before the season and guaranteed Coach Weiss at least 10 rebounds a game. And Coach said, you know, that's a lot. You know, you don't necessarily want to be telling that to anybody. So I heard about it and I'm telling it to you. And he's one of his way to 10 though in this ball game. Boy, that one was an ugly free throw. It banked in, but as long as it goes in. 30 to 25, a five point to Paul leading the ball. After one of the two for Holmes and three points in the game for him. Diener working against Strong. High left side, Tully. Now it's Diener. Diener drives, stops, and lost the handle. And they're going to call a reach-in foul on Strong. Boy, oh boy. Boy, are they calling this a tight, tight ball game. Here's an idea. Let them play. And Harley Piercy comes in for Lewis now. I imagine Strong will come out. And he will. It'll be three fouls on him, so he'll sit down. Again, 30 to 25 to Paul with 17 16 to play. Scott is going to come in for Lewis as well, and Callahan going to come out. And on the inbounds. Diener to do the honors under the basket left side. He'll get it right underneath the shot blown by an easy shot by Brumfield and he missed it. And Lewis comes back the other way off the inbounds play. They got just the shot they wanted but he missed the three footer. Now it's Piercy right side for Lewis. Up top open McGee for three. Oh it's no good but Scott is right there to put it back up and in. Sarunas Scott is the big putback. And Lewis back within three at 30 to 27. Inside 17 minutes to go. Tully up top career. All right side, London. To the point, and Diener. Nothing there, so goes to Greer. Left side, the fadeaway from 12, rolls off, and the rebound. Battled for between two flyers, and luckily it was saved to D. Hunter from McGee. They almost caused a turnover themselves, battling for it. Now left side again, a tip, Saruna Scottis off the miss by D. Hunter. Scottis right there to clean it up, and it's back to a one point game at 30 to 29 now. DePaul, the one point lead in the ball. It's Tully, high right side. On the wing, London. Boy, great Lewis defense all game long. There has not been an open passing lane all game long. Tully, right baseline, pull up 10 footer, good. Joe Tully, he'd been quiet for a little too long and makes something happen there. 32 to 29. Lewis trailing by three, they've got the ball in Piercy. Way up top, McGee. Now it's Scottis. Right side, D. Hunter. To the point, he'll stop. Now it's McGee slashing in, running 10 footer, around and in. Nice job, Monte McGee. That'll give him some confidence. And now 32 31 again, Lewis back within one. On the right side is London. To the point, and Brumfield. Left side, Diener. Now Tully. Running 14-footer, no off the front of the rim. Rebound battle for Holmes. What a great job. Out of bounds, which way? He was battling the bigger man from Greer from behind, and it's going to be Lewis basketball. And again, Coach Lato, Ryan to the officials. Boy, oh, boy. There's one thing I hate is coaches that cry, and that's all he's done today. Officials timeout will take one two. 15 20 to go in the ball game. It's 32 to 31 to Paul by just one. And back after this on 1340 WJOL. Off the timeout, Lewis possession. So they've got a chance to take the lead here down 32 to 31 with 15 10 to go in the ball game. Piercy, right corner, McGee. Now it's Piercy. Callahan, McGee for three in the corner. Long rebound. Austin Real back up and in, and Lewis takes the lead back for the first time in the second half at 33 to 32. Now inside 15 minutes to play. Diener, left side. That's Brooks. Now Diener, turnaround, 15 footer in and out. Rebound, Sarunas Scottis for Lewis. Chance to add to their one point lead. It's D. Hunter into the front court. Scottis at the point. Now it's Piercy. Up top, McGee. Looking for some help and finds D. Hunter high right side. 
The point and Austin Real. Piercy left side. Piercy dribbles to the top of the key and stops. Double team, so gets it away. D. Hunter. Great pass to Real. Cutting to the hoop. Four footer good, Austin Real. Great recognition to find Austin Real. Cutting to the hoop, and Coach Slato wants timeout for DePaul. Lewis takes a 35 32 lead with 14 16 to play in the game. Back after this. Welcome back to the campus of DePaul University, where Lewis, the Division II school, has the lead in the D1 school from Conference USA at 35-32 with 14-16 to play. The ball basketball. The backcourt is Diener. D. Hunter picks him up full court. Diener comes across the timeline. Passes on the wing, knocked away, but controlled by Holland. He'll go left side of the baseline, nothing there, and passes back out Diener. Now back up Brooks. And Brooks in the standing dribble up top to set the offense. Now Diener high left. Stops at the point. Now left wing. Bounce pass low left. Drive into the hoop. A foul called off the missed shot by Delante Holland. They're going to call the Flyers with the foul. And that's going to be the fourth personal foul on Austin Real. And <laughs> Austin wants the explanation, and he's not getting the satisfactory one as far as he's concerned. Holland at the foul line. And the first one is good. Chance to make it a one-point game, so Real goes to the bench for that fourth personal. Back in after a short rest is Sidney Holmes. Holland takes his time. This one on the way. And good. One point, Lewis leading the ball at 35-34 inside of 14 minutes to play in the game. D. Hunter into the front court. Hassled by Brooks. Gets it away. Left side, Harley Piercy. Lob cutting to the lane was Holmes off his fingertips. Ball the loose on the floor. And it's saved by Piercy for three at the point. Good! Harley Piercy drains the tray. And Lewis's lead at 38-34. Brooks in the front court. Up top, Diener. High right side, Brooks. Lob, Diener, left side. Double team, gets it low left. Hoskin goes baseline and jams it home. Sam Hoskin with a big aggressive move. And Lewis back the other way. The pass to Saruna Scottis off his fingertips. A turnover back to the Demons. They'll come back in a hurry. Left side, Brooks. Puts it up, no. There's going to be a foul underneath the blocking foul and two shots coming. Twelve fifty-three to play. Lewis's lead is 38-36. Fifteen foul. Two shots coming though for Marlon Brooks. On the way, and good for Brooks. Substitution before the next one as Seals will come in and Diener gets a rest. Brooks takes his time, on the way, and good. High ball game at 38. 12 50 to go. Lewis with the ball. It's D. Hunter. Right side goes to Piercy. Wide on the right side. Now back up to the point in Holmes. Wide right wing. D. Hunter. Hunter. Top of the key. Monte McGee. McGee backs up almost center circle. Now starts it up. Drives. Free throw line. Stops. Leans. Shoots. Off the front of the rim. No. Long rebound. D. Hunter saves it for Lewis. Back right side. Wide open. Scott is the jumper. Good. Saruna Scott is from 12. And Lewis takes the lead back at 40 to 38. 12 20 to play. Walking it up is Marlon London for the Demons. He comes front court. Goes all the way left side. Slides down wing. Now all the way back up to the point. London still with it. Goes Brooks left corner. 
He'll go to the wing. Now bounce pass Hoskin, double team low left. Looks for a pass and finds Greer. He'll slide free throw line, take the jump shot. No, rebound, comes down to McGee for Lewis. Two point lead in the ball, Flyers with 11.48 to go. D. Hunter. And they're going to call a reach in foul. Brooks send the ball. Marlon Brooks whistled for the personal. It'll be out of bounds, side court left. But an official's timeout. 11.44 to play in the basketball game. It's Lewis 40, DePaul 38. Back after this. 11.44 to play in the basketball game. Lewis leads to Paul, 40 to 38. Lewis will have it inbounds. Side court left here in the front with Harley Piercy to key it in. Piercy, Scottis. Now it comes up top. Stand strong. DeAndre Williams back up Scottis. Now Harley Piercy drives left baseline, fade away. Shot rejected. And battle for Scottis comes out of there with it. Put up the left hander. No. Rebound. Lewis fighting for it on the floor. Diener's there as well. Who's it going to be? It was Holmes for Lewis. Is that a foul or a jump ball? They clear away the bodies and we'll find out. Too many bodies between me and the official. They'll find out what they call. I believe it's got to be a jump ball considering all the bodies on the floor. And indeed, it's going to be Lewis on the alternating possession. Momentary timeout. They break the towel out to mop up the sweat and stand strong. We'll bring it in. Baseline right of the hoop. 11.26 to go. Lewis by two. Strong looks. Lobs way up top to Scottis. Hands off DeAndre Williams. Williams with it. Right side stands strong. With a point, Holmes. Left side, that'll be Harley Piercy. Now Williams, right wing strong. Takes the three. Hits it, stands strong with a big three. 43 to 38, Lewis by five with 11 minutes to play in the ball game. Diener up top off the high pick. Strong on him now. As Diener in trouble, finally gets it away. Almost a five count, but Hoskin now hands it back to Diener to start the offense. Seals up top, Greer. Greer at the point. Right side, Diener. Takes a few dribbles and sets it up. Shot clock to eight, though. They're running out of time. Diener, the free throw line stops. Bounce pass low right. Fade away by Greer. No. Rebound. Hoskin back up. No. And they're going to call a foul on Scottis. And Hoskin to shoot two. Well, I'll tell you what, Lewis really made him work for that shot, though. But. The ball could still come out of here with points thanks to these foul shots by Hoskin. 10.31 to go, 43 to 38, Lewis. Hoskin. Big number 25 toes the stripe. And the first one is good. Cuts it to a four-point game at 43 to 39. Greer comes out, Brumfield back in. Brooks out and Tully back in for DePaul as well. Then DePaul without Andre Brown. Their best player with academics. Hoskin drops that one in. So 43 to 40. Lewis by three and the ball. Front court is stand strong. High right side with it. Couple dribbles. Bounce pass low right. Scott is backs in. Kicks it up top. Piercy for three. High right. No. Knocked down to the floor. No foul call. And now Piercy reaches out and is going to get a intentional foul. Reaching out. Making contact with Diener's leg. And he comes over to Coach Weitzel who gives him an earful. Look, you were fouled, but just because it wasn't called doesn't mean you retaliate. That's a huge, huge foul call of the three-point ball game. He lost his cool, and it cost his team. So Diener's going to get some foul shots, and then DePaul's going to get the ball. Reached out and grabbed Diener as he ran by after he got knocked to the ground, and there was no foul call. But the retaliation, boy, they always get the second one. They don't see the first one, they get the second one all the time. Diener makes the first foul shot, so it's 
And now 43-42 as that one goes in. So DePaul down by one, and they get to keep the ball as well. That's why that was such a huge, huge foul call. Well, Hunter back in after a short rest as Piercy comes out. 10-13 to go. Diener in the backcourt. He'll come front. Around a high pick. Gets the ball to Tully. Almost double dribbled, but keeps it alive and goes left side to Diener. And now a foul away from the basketball. It's an offensive foul, I believe, on Marlon Brumfield of DePaul. So a turnover and Flyers have it. McGee after a short rest is in. DeAndre Williams is out. Ten minutes exactly to go. DePaul trailing by one. Lewis with possession. And Stan Strong will bring it up. He'll come front with it. Right side. McGee. Holmes now left side. Hunter. The point. Strong open for three at the point. Good. Stan Strong buries the open tray. And Lewis is back up by four at 46 to 42 with 940 to go. Tully high right. He'll hit those all day if you leave them there open, that's for sure. Tully. Hands off Diener. Swings it around left wing. Diener trying to back in against Strong. Double team. Kicks it in the corner. They almost lost possession. Now driving. Seals. Had it go in off the back of the rim. Good move to the hoop by Steeles. The ball back by, back within two, I should say. And now Lewis back to Hunter. Hunter left side. Goes baseline. Kicks it middle. Scottis knocked out of bounds. And Lewis will try again. They'll bring it in. Baseline left of the basket. 24 on the shot clock. 9.03 on the game clock. Lewis by two in the ball. 46 to 44. We get momentary timeout. They bring out the towel to dry up the lane there. Lewis led by as many as 10 in the first half. Fell behind late in that first half. Regained the lead here early in half number two. And they've owned the lead for a while now. It's been six. Now it's down to two here in half number two. Inbounds left of the basket. Sarunas Scottis. Hands off Hunter left corner. The dribble all the way up top center circle. Start the offense. Right side, Monte McGee to the point. Scottis. Left side. Knocked out of bounds to the intended receiver, so to speak. That time was Stan Strong, but Lewis will keep it. Side court left. Hunter to bring it in. Shot clock down to 11 as they bring the ball in bounds to Scottis, handed back off to D. Hunter. Now strong high left, down to five. McGee takes a dribble, takes a 16-footer and buries it. Monte McGee with a huge outside jumper, and Lewis's lead now stands at 48 to 44 with 8:30 to play in the ball game. Diener for DePaul, looking for Tully, can't find him. Oh boy! Luckily for him, he regained his dribble only because the ball was knocked away by Strong. So now he goes to Greer. Greer, right side, seals to the basket, had it go off the rim with a foul, and seals to shoot two. LeVar seals, two shots coming for DePaul. Again, Flyers by four with 8.16 to play in the ballgame. First foul shot is good. Cuts it to a three-point. Flyers lead. Ken Lewis coming off that 25 win season, their most ever in the Sweet 16 last year. Seals buries that one. A couple of subs. London and Brooks come back in. Tully and Seals out for DePaul. Two point Lewis lead. Scottis to bring it in. To stand strong. Brooks on him, full court. Strong comes across the timeline, high right side on the wing. Holmes down low, McGee spins, and he's hammered by Lee. Oh my goodness! Call the travel. Well, the reason he went flying is because Lee knocked him flying. Wow, what a bad call. Well, 
The ball got away with that one. Chance to tie it as well as they come front court to Diener. Almost thrown away. And matter of fact, it is going to be knocked away. And then DePaul trying to get it back. London went over and back in a turnover back to the Lewis University Flyers. Officials timeout. We'll take a break. 7.53 to go in the ballgame. Lewis leads DePaul 48-46 back after this. 7.53 remains. Lewis University leading DePaul University 48-46. Plus, Lewis has a chance to add to that lead. Front court, it's D. Hunter. Right side, stands strong. Almost traveled. Almost lost it. Kept it to McGee for three. High left. Gone, Monte McGee. Another huge three from McGee, and it's 51-46. to 46. The Lewis lead now five as Austin Real back in the lineup after that timeout with his four fouls for Lewis U. He spent most of this game on the bench, and he's such a key to them. That's why... It's Pretty impressive, Lewis leading, despite the fact he has spent most of this game on the bench and driving the lane. Well, Real had to get out of the way, and Brooks gets the layup. 51-48. Lewis by three in the ball with now 7-11 to go. Spinning in the lane, kick out Real. As Hunter found himself down too low with nowhere to go, so he did a nice job to kick that ball back outside again. Real for three at the point. Off the back of the rim. Big rebound, McGee, and he's fouled. Nice job by Monte de McGee to Sky and get that board and pick up to the Paul foul and McGee to the foul line. A chance to add, as we said, to that Lewis three point lead with 6.57 to play. Up just 15 foul. Thought that was the sixth, though so instead it's going to be a baseline right out of the hoop. The inbounds play coming from D. Hunter. Hunter looks, goes, stands strong. Right side, back to Hunter on the wing. To the point, Austin, real. D. Hunter now. Hunter slides the paint and picks up a push foul before any shot. Side court left. The inbounds will come from McGee. Inbounds comes to Hunter. Lewis by three in the ball, 6.43 to go. Right side is strong, up top Real. Now it's McGee. Real free throw line. The point strong for three, rings out, but McGee there for the rebound to keep it alive. Fresh shot clock, so they'll start things all over again. Boy, great job to get the offensive board by McGee. Now it's Real, right side strong, low right. Lean in, Demetrius Hunter off the backboard, no, and the rebound comes down to DePaul. Well, 6-10 remains, DePaul with the ball, they're down by three. Hoskin up top, drives, stops, free throw line, and it knocked away and stolen away. Flyers have a four on two, right side McGee, scooping way up, no, but a blocking foul and two shots coming. Tully got in the way and picked up the block. But McGee a chance to drain a pair and add to what already is a three-point. Lewis lead with now 5.56 to play. Well, again, DePaul has let Lewis hang around all day, and now no doubt that Lewis the most confident they've been all game long. The offense is starting to flow. They're hitting shots they weren't hitting in the first half. And DePaul in some trouble. Who the first free throw though is missed by McGee. See what happens in the second. Scottis comes in, Holmes gets a break for Lewis U. Tully is out, London back in for DePaul as well. Deep breath by McGee. And that one good. So he makes one out of two and makes it a four point Lewis lead with 5.56 to go. Some loose full court pressure, and DePaul comes front with it in London. All the way left corner. Drives baseline, stops, 10-footer, good. Nice move to spin away from the defender. And London drains the jump shot. Now Lewis by two in the ball. And the inbounds pass is tipped off of Marlon Brooks, and it hit Austin Real while he was still standing out of bounds. Which means it's a turnover, and it's DePaul basketball. And inbounds 
mess up that Lewis could ill afford there. Again, a momentary timeout to wipe up the floor. And the inbounds for the Demons. Baseline left of the basket. 5.37 to go. It's 52-50. to 50. Lewis leads. Left baseline. Ball knocked away. Picked back up by Greer. Missed the shot. Rebound. Knocked around. Battled for. And it's Lewis basketball. A fast break. All by himself. Stan Strong lays it in. 54-50. Lewis by four. 5.18 to go. Right side on the wing. Now they go to Greer at the point. He'll drive left baseline, lean in, and a personal foul. And I believe it's going to be on Austin Reel as the lean in is fifth personal, and he's out. The lean in, nice job to initiate contact by Kimon Greer and to get Reel out of the ball game. And the Lewis fans give him a big round of applause. And Holmes back in for Lewis with 5-10 remaining. 54-50, Lewis the lead. But the foul line will be Greer for DePaul. Greer jumped into the defender, and he got the call from the official. But Coach Lato, I don't know how he hasn't gotten a T yet. He has been whining all night. He's still arguing about a call three calls ago. First foul shot is good. 54 to 51. To Paul within three. And within two, is that one good as well for Greer? In the backcourt, D. Hunter. He'll come front with it, go left side to stand strong. Up top, Scottis. High left side, D. Hunter. Hunter at the point. Right side. McGee, down low right side, Holmes back out. McGee for three, wide open, drains it. Monte McGee, another three. 57-52, five-point Lewis lead, 440 to go. London has it high right. Now it's Brooks right wing to the point, Hoskin. Left wing, Greer, drives baseline, and there's going to be a blocking foul before any shot. 429 remains. 57-52, Lewis by five, and again DePaul to the foul line. They've been at the foul line all day. Holland to the stripe this time. Couple dribbles, Holland spins it, dribbles again. Spins it again. Let's it go and puts it through. Tell you what, if you get 10 seconds to shoot it after you've been given the ball, he uses 12. Couple of dribbles. Here's the spin. Couple of dribbles. Here's the spin. Now finally the shot, and he makes it. So he made them both. Lewis the lead, but now it's cut to 57-54 with 4.29 to go. Some full court to Paul Pressure. D. Hunter in the backcourt, but they'll break it. He has it high left. Backs away. Now goes left wing. Stand strong. Now it's Scottis. Right side, McGee. Up top to Strong. Left wing, D. Hunter. Low left, Scottis leans in, puts it up. No, and they're going to call it traveling violation. Turnover, and DePaul down by three, gets it back with now 4.09 to go. Chance to cut it to one here with a hoop. Diener comes front with it. Has it high right. Now high left side, the long tray is good. LaVar Seals with a big three to tie the game at 57 with 3.49 to go. And Lewis University takes a 20-second timeout. Following the timeout, Lewis basketball. Tie ball game at 57, 347 to go. Stan Strong high right. Right wing, Monte McGee to the point and Holmes. Left side, D. Hunter. Hand off Strong with it now. 
Strong drives, free throw line fade away is good. Stand strong, nice job to create that open shot. And Lewis has the lead again at 59-57, 3.25 to go. Diener right side. The point in Greer. Oh, almost thrown away by D. Hunter. And now, boy, oh boy. DePaul's ball handler loses his balance. He tripped over his own feet. And again, the officials bail out DePaul with a bad call and a foul. There wasn't a defender within three feet of him. And again, they get the foul call. Foul shot is missed. He'll get a second try. The next foul shot by Brooks is good. He makes one out of two. And officials time out. We'll take a break. 317 remains. 57-58. Lewis by one back after this. 317 to play. 59-58. Lewis has the one-point lead and the ball. Demetrius Hunter will bring it in against full court pressure. It's the ball to McGee back court. Stan Strong cuts, gets the pass, and he'll come front with it. Strong, left side, on the wing to D. Hunter. The point in Scottis. Takes a dribble, gets it back to Strong. Strong run, a high pick, takes the three, blocked, and DePaul comes out of there with it. Demons have a chance to take the lead inside three minutes to go. Diener for DePaul. Right side, his wing pass knocked away by McGee nicely, but Demons will bring it inbounds. Side court right. London to bring it in. Looks. And finally goes back up. Diener. Run a high pick. Diener takes it low left. Will spin move underneath. Will running five footer. Drops in for Kamant Greer. 60-59 to Paul. Takes the lead back with 2.35 to go. Stands strong. And it knocked away. He saves it. And finds Scottis. And now Lewis wants a timeout. 2.30 exactly remains to Paul by just one. 60-59 over Lewis. Again, the Flyers taking timeout. We're back after this. Following the timeout, McGee will bring it inbounds. Near half court. And he goes into the backcourt to D. Hunter to start the offense. Hunter comes front with it. Now McGee left wing. Up top is Holmes. Back left side, D. Hunter to Strong. Low left, dishes in the middle to Scott. It's knocked away. No foul call, and DePaul comes out of there with it. Underneath, Hoskin traveled, got away with it. And the rebound, McGee, and he fights for it. Out of bounds, which way? Out of bounds to, of course, the DePaul Blue Demons. Diener to inbound. Way up top, Hoskin. Mac Diener to start the offense. Right side, London with it. London, Bob down low, Diener right side. D. Hunter on him. Back up now, Brooks. He'll slide in low right, put up the shot off the glass and in. All of a sudden, DePaul's lead is up to 62 to 59 with 139 to play. Lewis needs a basket here. Scott is to McGee, drives baseline. Way up top, Harley Piercy. Back up, McGee. Leans, bounce past Scottis, puts up the shot, the left hander, good. Saruna Scott is the one-handed left-hander. Lewis back within one with 118 to go. Diener in the front court and DePaul calls timeout. 115 to go. DePaul 62. Lewis 61. It's a 20-second timeout. DePaul brings it in at half court. They go back court to Diener. Demons by a one, 112 to go. Diener left side, up top London. Slides all the way left corner, stops, goes free throw line Greer. Greer backs away to the point, hands off to Brooks all the way center circle. Ten seconds in the shot clock, Brooks with it, a high right side now. We'll run a high pick, runs all the way into the back court. It should have been over and back violation, it wasn't. Brooks fires a three, and it hits nothing. A 35 second violation, Lewis will have the basketball after the turnover with 42. Seconds to go, and a chance to take the lead. Full court pressure. And 
Inbounds comes to Holmes. He finds McGee. McGee, he'll take it front court. Has it high right side. Now it's D. Hunter. 36 seconds to go. Lewis has the ball. They're down by one. D. Hunter kicks it on the wing to McGee. He'll take the 18-footer. No, off the rim. A rebound battle for. And DePaul comes out of there with it. DePaul by one. And the ball with 20 seconds to go. They're still in the backcourt, though. They're running out of time. A double team. And what do they call? Oh, they call a reach-in foul on Lewis. Should have been a jump ball. Instead, it's a reach-in. And the ball goes to the line. Shooting two with 18 seconds to go. But even if they make them both, Lewis will still have a possession. And it works down by three. Hoskin at the foul line. And momentary timeout. Now they get everybody straight along where they're supposed to be. Along the line. Uh, here we go. Foul shot is missed by Hoskin. That means a three for Lewis could win it here. Or maybe even a two will win it if Hoskin misses this one with 18 seconds to go. It's good. And timeout called by DePaul. They want to set up their defense. 18 seconds to go. Lewis is down by two. It's 63-61, but they have the ball. So it's a 20. So we'll see what Lewis decides to do. Don't need to hurry. 18 seconds is plenty of time. Just get the good shot. They only need the two to tie it. Of course, a Trey would win it here in this situation. Let's see. They take the first good shot or work it and maybe go for the winner here. Maybe against a DePaul team on their own home floor. You don't necessarily want to go to overtime if you can avoid it. So if they can get strong or McGee to get an open three, maybe they'll go that route. Well, we come out of the 22nd timeout. Division two Lewis, a chance to beat Division I DePaul here on DePaul's home campus court. Against full court pressure, McGee brings it in bounds to D. Hunter. They clear out for him. Shot clock turned off. There's 14 seconds. D. Hunter front court, 10 seconds. Right side of the wing, Piercy drives free throw line. 15 footer off the rim, no. Rebound and reach in foul on Lewis, and that'll do it. DePaul is going to escape here, but Lewis gave a great, great effort. Seals will be at the foul line with 2.4 seconds to go. 63-61 Lewis trailing by two. So unless there's a miss and a desperation three here at some point. Nope. It's now a three-point lead. Now they need the miss and a desperation three, so Lewis will call the timeout just in case. Following the timeout, Seals will get one more free throw. If he makes it, the game's over. If he misses and Lewis gets the rebound, they can get the desperation heave down three at this point. Seals gets the ball from the official. On the way in, good, and DePaul is going to win the game. So Lewis will inbound. Holmes throws it all the way down court. Harley Piercy launches a three. No good at the buzzer, and the ball game is over. DePaul is your winner, 65 to 61. You're against Lewis University in downtown Chicago. Welcome back to the pregame show. Talking to head coach Jim Weitzel and coach, another year. How about that? Everybody ready to go? Man, it's unbelievable. It's already started. I guess when you're in the summer, in the early fall, you think you're, it's uh, forever away. And then now I think, like, where'd it go? But uh, yeah, I'm really excited about the season, Mark. It's, uh, 
it's, we've picked a heck of an opponent to play first round. Uh, first game, I should say, uh, Grand Valley, who played great last night at Indianapolis and won impressively. They won by 11, but they had them down by 20 a great deal of the game. So we're very impressed. We, Mark Lovelace was over scouting the game, and uh, we're uh, extremely impressed with them. Now, I saw your first exhibition game against DePaul, and after a slow start in the first half, I really thought in the second half, you guys really played with a lot of confidence, and you were the better team in the second half. And then you go to Bradley and take them to overtime, so I'd imagine you had to overall be pretty happy with those two games. Yeah, our preseason was good, and all along with our scrimmage with Illinois Wesley, and all those, I think we got better each week. Uh, and obviously playing two of them on the road against uh, you know real athletic teams uh, I think will be good for us. Um, the big thing is is that you know you can walk out of those games after losing and still feel pretty good because it's an exhibition game. Now this is the real thing, and it, it turns up your pressure. It turns up the self pressure you put on yourself. And you know the big thing with us tonight is playing within runs and being able to handle it, whether it's positive or negative, and kind of staying strong. You know I think the big thing you see so much college basketball right now earlier in the year when you don't play well, you get so down on yourself, so negative sometimes you can't recover. And I think you got to be able to. Uh, be able to handle that for the people who uh, are just getting their first check of this team for this year say what those two junior college players in particular i thought have really stepped up and this is their first real test when it counts yeah sydney holmes and monte mcgee have played very well um and the other guy that really helped us down at bradley who did not play against nepal was randy wright he had 18 points and five assists in about 20 minutes really gave us a punch off the bench so uh and he's had a good week of practice we're going to try to get him in there early and get him settled down and let him play in the rotation a little bit. Uh, we've got to get probably two kids that have played a great deal for us in the past, D. Hunter and Austin Real, off to a good start. Those guys have had, you know, they've played very hard and they've played so many minutes, I mean, X amount of minutes. Austin played a lot of minutes against Bradley, which was good. But both those guys have been a little bit uh, subpar from what I think they can play. And I think they'd be the first one to tell you, Austin's got to stay out of foul trouble and D's got to bring his game along, play a little more aggressively, and be a little more vocal for us. So both those kids, they've been a big part of what our program has been, and I think it's uh, important for those guys to get off to a good start. So is the style of play of this year's team going to change any from last year? Well, I hope defensively we're as good as we were last year. Right now we are not. At least we haven't practiced that way or played that way yet. Um, offensively, we seem to be more scoring in binges and then in our half-court stuff than last year. Uh, we've rebounded the ball better. We've struggled at the free throw line. Um, so I, I there are some good things, and there's some things we got to really work on. So, um, you know, I think every team's a little bit different, and every kid changes a little bit each year. I, you think, you hope at least a bit. Hopefully, he gets more. He gets a little bit better. So, what I'm hoping on is our experience tonight can get us a little bit over the hump, get us over the jitters, and then go out and play and just execute and and see what happens. And I think we've got to settle down and protect our home court and play with a lot of confidence. And uh, we've had a lot of guys that have gotten a lot of minutes. So let's go out and play like it. Right. Looking forward to another season. Best of luck. We'll talk to you after. Thanks, Mark. All right. Coach Jim Weitzel here on 1340 WJOL.